Now in this video we're going to talk about series resistors and series resistance is a way to make a voltage divider. So we'll come to that uh, in a little bit. Here you can see a 1 kilo ohm resistor followed by another 1 kilo ohm resistor. So 1 kilo ohm means 1000 ohms. So you have a total resistance of 2000 ohms. You just add the numbers up. It is that simple when it comes to series resistors. Now the voltage across them, if you're using a 10 volt power supply. So if you had a single 2 kilo ohm resistor it would have 10 volts across it. But since we have two resistors here and uh, we would have the same amount of current with a single 2 kilo ohm resistor as the two here, but uh, you don't have 10 volts across each of the resistors, they divide up the voltage. Since they're equal value resistors, they divide up that voltage equally. So if you had a really low value resistor here, it would be a lot lower than 5 volts, a lot lower than half if you have a 1 kilo ohm right there. But uh, equal value is easy. You just have half of the voltage across one resistor, half across the other. Since you normally go to ground with a load, here you can have an output that goes to something and in relationship to ground, the negative side of the battery, you will have that 5 volts right there. You can't really power much with that. Usually you send it to an amplifier that takes that voltage and does something with it. You don't usually power stuff directly, but uh, it's common to have voltage dividers like that. So now of course it's uh, better to do the testing on the board. We have a multimeter here. This one we only have one setting for measuring resistance. It does the rest. We don't have to move the red probe. If you have uh, numbers before that ohm set it to the uh, higher number than what you expect. So we expect 2000 when we measure the two of them you'd want to set it to the number that's higher than 2000. And uh, it's still pretty safe though to measure uh, resistance with the wrong setting. So you don't want any power going through the components that you're going to measure. That's one thing though. And here you can see the battery in the meter provides the power. And there you can see we are just shy of one kilo ohm, but it's pretty much spot on uh, one kilo ohm. So it said kilo ohm up in the corner there and we'll go over here and again it's uh, pretty much shy of one kilo ohm. We'll zoom in so we can look a little bit easier and now we're just going to put them in series right there pretty straightforward and we can measure it again. Polarity doesn't matter. doesn't matter which side you have the black probe or the red probe and there you can see we have basically two kilo ohms of uh, resistance total between the two of them. Now we have the power supply on and the uh, power button just turns the output on or off. It was off, now it's on and we're going to hit set here and we can press that to set our maximum current. We're going to leave it at 20 milliamps. But now we're going to come back here, use the right arrow and then we're going to go up to 10 volts right there that we're going to provide to the board. We hit that, that locked it in place. This is the actual current it's providing. There's no load right now, so nothing is happening. I also turned the meter off after I measured resistance. Make sure you do that. Now we're going to take the uh, one resistor, put it to the positive supply directly, and then the other resistor, put it to where that other one kilo ohm resistor was, and then put it to the negative side of the supply right there. And we can measure uh, voltage. So again, this one all I have to do is set it to V and we have one spot for the voltage meter. The uh, black probe is in COM. So for this meter, it's always in that spot. Uh, pretty straightforward. Other meters, you may have to move it for different measurements. Now with voltage, you definitely want a number higher than what you can expect to uh, measure. But uh, this one's auto ranging. We just have one setting. Makes it uh, pretty simple. And we already looked at the power supply, that it was 10 volts. We'll go across the two resistors right there, and there you can see it's 10 volts. If I come over here, now you can see it's 5 volts across that resistor. And we come over here, and uh, once I get a good connection, there you can see it's 5 volts across that resistor. And finally, just for fun, we'll measure some current. And uh, so first we'll measure one resistor, but you can see I already set the meter to milliamps, have it at that setting there, and the red probe stays there for everything but uh, high current, the amp range right there. And the uh, power supply right now is still 5 volts, 
we are going to, from the last video, set it to 10 volts right there. And the output is already on, so the power rails are already powered, and we have it set to a maximum of 20 milliamps of current, so I don't have to worry about too much current going through the meter. The uh, power supply is going to stop providing uh, energy once it gets to 20 milliamps of current, and we have to complete the circuit to measure the current. So we're just going to look at one resistor right now. It has 10 volts across it. It's a 1 kilo ohm resistor, so that gives us 10 milliamps of current. So 10 volts divided by 1,000 ohms of resistance is 0 0.01 amps, or 10 milliamps. Now we're going to put the two resistors in series. As we saw before, that's like doubling the resistance, and thus we will get half the uh, current. It, it does double the resistance, I should say. And there you can see, we got half the current. As we saw before, these are both 1,000 ohm resistors. They both have 5 volts across them, so they're both letting... 5 milliamps of current go through them like that. That's how it works. So hopefully that all made sense because I'm going to end the video there. Make sure you check out one of the other videos. Always turn the meter off and if it has a power button, get it off of measuring current. That's the easiest way to damage the meter. Mostly you can blow a fuse. Uh, so set it to measure voltage, turn it off, or if you have to turn the dial off, turn it off. Check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I have a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.